Shalom, first and foremost, I want to give all the praises and the glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Baasham, Yahushai, Brakoth Yahweh, Baasham, Yahushai, Baasham, Rekakwadash. Give double honors to our teachers of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to our sincere brothers in all sincerity, pushing this true gospel throughout the four corners of the earth, risking their lives week in and week out to feed the lost sheep of Israel and shalom to the hopeful elects, right? Which are our beloved brothers, beloved sisters and beloved children. Amen. So be true. This is the terror of the Lord. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 11 Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord we persuade men but we are made manifest unto the Lord our power and I trust also are made manifest in your consciences. This is the terror of the Lord. No matter, you could run, you could hide, you cannot, oh let me get this one. Lord willing. Amos 5 verse 19. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. According to the scriptures, you could maybe run but you cannot hide. All right? The law could get you at home, right? In your dwelling, or the law could get you outside. There is no hiding with the Lord. And this is why we talk, we, knowing this, we, we persuade men. This is. Family of man eaten alive by bed bugs in Fulton County Jail calls for changes. Listen, this world here has no respect. And this is why we mustn't fear what man can do. Because this is of the Lord. The Lord is in control of everything. Every living creature the Lord is in control of. All right? News first starts now. You would not wish it on anyone. A family says a man was found dead, covered in bugs inside his Fulton County jail cell. I'm Sean Gables. And I'm Rick Fulbaum. And tonight, new at six, his attorney argues he got no medical help leading up to his death. Just look at where LaShawn Thompson was allegedly sleeping. This deteriorating cell in the jail's psychiatric wing. And we're told that LaShawn Thompson suffered from mental health issues. Atlanta News First reporter Zach Summers, live at the Fulton County there, Zach, you just learned from Thompson's attorney, those images are disturbing. Yeah, you know, the lawyer representing the family of LaShawn Thompson tells me this is one of the most inhumane inmate deaths he has ever encountered. The family wants the public to see the poor conditions they say their loved one endured while here at the Fulton County Jail. But we must warn you, some of the images are graphic. It's just unbelievable. The image is hard to look at. 35-year-old LaShawn Thompson unresponsive in a Fulton County jail cell covered in what his family's attorney says are insect and bed bug bites. The scene was so horrific that the detention officer said she would not even administer CPR when they found him because she was freaked out. In her words, freaked out by the scene. Thompson was arrested for misdemeanor battery in June of 2022. Attorney Michael Harper says the inmate was placed in the psychiatric wing of the jail where he remained for three months. No one really checked on him. Uh, we have some records from the jail showing that they saw he was deteriorating uh, from the medical staff and from the detention officers. Thompson was found dead inside his cell on September 13th, 2022. 
An autopsy showed no signs of trauma. While his death is listed as undetermined, the medical examiner noted a severe bed bug infestation. It looks like it had been there for months, um, and no one cared. No one cleaned it up. No one did anything, apparently. Pictures from inside Thompson's cell show deplorable conditions. The room covered in filth, Harper says, unfit for even a dog. No one should live in those conditions, whether you're charged with a crime or not. Thompson's family now calling for accountability. They want the jail shut down and replaced and a full criminal investigation into their loved one's death. It's a big ask, we understand that. But you have to make the conditions better to avoid this from happening to someone else. And we reached out to the Fulton County Sheriff's Office for a comment. We are still waiting on a response. Thompson's family planning a press conference tomorrow at 2 at the Fulton County Courthouse. We, of course, will be there. Live in Atlanta, Zach Summers. Anyway, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 11, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. But we are made manifest unto the Lord our power, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciences. See, the Lord is not a respect of persons, okay? Fear the Lord. Shalom.